Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my Acker. Hope you've had a great week. That's Cheltenham, all done and dusted, out of the way. Now it's on to the football. Got a great looking Acker this weekend. Plays an amazing 71 to 1, and it looks fairly strong, guys, I have to say. So, really like my Acker this week. Hope you can jump on. There's a link in the bio that will take you um, to it, and you'll be able to bet on it. So, cracking straight on. First team in is Millwall in League One. Now, Millwall are really strong at home, and they're playing a Bury side that's not in great form and don't travel well. Um, they look really, really strong today in Millwall, and I think they'll be in a lot of people's Zachers. So, Millwall, first team going in. Second team going in is we're going to League Two, and we're going to the league leaders, Donny. Now, Donny have been magnificent this year in their quest for promotion. They're unbeaten in their last five games. So, <clears throat> really, really strong. Excuse me, a bit croaky this morning. So, Leighton Orient really struggling this season inside the relegation zone. I really think Donny will do the business today. Last team going in part of the treble is Everton. Now, Everton are at home to Hull. Hull in the relegation zone. Looking favourites to go down. Don't travel at all well. Only won twice on the road all season. Everton, really strong at home. Um, Koeman's got them playing really, really well at Goodison Park. So, Everton going in. Now, the treble is on the bet slip and pays a whopping 3-1. to one. Now, for a football treble, guys, just wins. That's, a, that's good odds. So, that's the treble. Cracking on with the six-fold. First team going in, we're going to the conference and we're going to Gateshead. Now, Gateshead have um, unbeaten in five games, winning four of them. Playing Woking, who are in the um, drop zone, not playing well at all. Only won once in five. It's a long distance of travel as well at that level. So, Gateshead, the next team going in. From there, we're going to the FA Trophy and we're going to the leaders of the conference, Lincoln. They're at home to York. Now, I know York turned Lincoln over 1-0 in the first leg, but Lincoln at home have been really, really strong this year. They've had a great FA Cup run. So I just don't think York will be able to do it again. So Lincoln, the next team going in. From there, we're going to the Championship and we're going to Newcastle. Now, Newcastle's form is hit and miss. However, Birmingham's form isn't great. Zola under huge pressure. Only won once in the last five. And I think he's only won two games since he's been at Birmingham. So Newcastle, the next team going in. Now, that six-fold pays 18-1. to one. I really like it, guys. I don't know about you, but surely we can't stop there. That ending. So, on to the huge ninefold. Now, we've got the Premier League leaders, Chelsea, going in next. They've got a tough game away at Stoke. Never easy at the um, Bet365 Stadium, but Chelsea have been magnificent this year under Conte. Uh, I can't see who's going to stop them lifting the trophy. I think it's only a matter of time until they're crowned Premier League champions. So, Chelsea, the next team going in. From there, we're staying in the Premier League. Slightly different bet. Bournemouth, Swansea, both teams to score. Now, these teams score goals and they concede goals as well. So, I think it will be a goal fest on the south coast. Uh, that's the late kickoff, 5.35. So, I just like both teams to score in this game. I think there'll be plenty of goals, plenty of action. So, there. Now, the final team going in is we're going to League One and we're going to the leaders, Chef U. They're at home to Charlton. Chef U were almost there. They're almost promoted. They've been playing really, really well this year. Against the Charlton team that's not playing particularly well, don't travel amazingly. So, Chef U going in. Now, guys, that Acker pays a huge 71 to 1. I really like it. What about you? Yeah, no, it looks good. In the comments, guys, put your Ackers in there. Have I missed anyone glaringly obvious out that you think, why is he not put them in the Acker? Let me know. Only human, I do miss things, guys. I've said I've trawled through the fixtures, and they're the nine that I like. But let me know what you, your thoughts. Again, on the screen now is all my social media handles. It'd be great if you give me a follow on all of them. would be amazing. Also, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel, guys. would be amazing. Any comments, pop them in. Happy to answer them. Just hit the thumbs up button for me. I say have a great weekend. Have a great weekend's betting. And thanks for watching my Acker. Cheers, guys.